American Empire, Chinese Empire, Russian Empire. All of these were empires of foods, grain empires. So there are, there's ulterior motives to getting us to eat, and they don't involve our health. We have to start to look, unfortunately, we have to start to look and watch commercials and, and pay attention as if these are our adversaries. They're not our friends. McDonald's is not our friend. Snickers, uh, Mars, the Mars Corporation is not our friend. And so we have to begin to treat these people, and I, don't, I hate to say it, but that's how the world we've created. So you work on the digestive system. You use probiotics. You fast. You eliminate problem foods. You stabilize the blood sugar. You use the sweeties, chromium and vanadium, the B-complex. I'm telling you, in my opinion, B-complex deficiency and electrolyte deficiency and vitamin C deficiency are major health issues. Why? Because between the B-complex and vitamin C and electrolytes, you have your major electrical nutrients. You have your major electrical micronutrients, and we urinate them out every day, especially if we're drinking a lot of water, and we don't replace them unless you're smart enough to be on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. This is why people get such tremendous and rapid benefits from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's liquid nutrition, and as we said yesterday and we've said so many times, the more deficient we are in nutrients, the faster our body absorbs them. Third step, calm the body down. Again, this is not sequential. It's just as important as the first two steps. Calm the body down with deep breathing. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system. There's so many ways to activate your healing nervous system, your PNS, parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system, the emergency nervous system, is chronically elevated when we have chronic degenerative diseases. They may be synonymous. So activate the antagonistic or the alternative or the opposing parasympathetic nervous system. Do you know just something as simple as focusing on the outside part of your eyes, your peripheral, peripheral vision, the periphery of your eyes will activate the relaxation response. Here's something cool. Do you know that when we look at things, we do something very strange when we look at things. We go out to what we're looking at. Right now, if you're, if you're in your living room or you're, wherever you are in your car, look at something and notice how your eyes go out to look at things. Well, try this. Try letting whatever you're looking at come to you. Try relaxing your vision and letting whatever you're seeing or whatever you're, whatever you're facing or staring at or looking at, let that vision come to you and notice that you will immediately relax. It's called open focus. There's actually a cool book called, oh, I forgot what it's called. It's called the open focus strategy or something. I'll have to get the title of it. Anyway, it's a, 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 a professor from uh, some Eastern college, I forgot, where he talks about how, how focusing on the outside part of your eyes or focusing on the context of your vision, the outside part of your vision will activate your parasympathetic nervous system. Something as simple as how we look at things can activate our healing response, can lower our blood pressure, can stimulate, uh, uh, stimulate uh, building a muscle, stimulate building a bone, can activate the healing response. Of course, oxygenation, muscle relaxation, visualization, meditation, yoga. These are all wonderful ways that can free us from, the, from the, the tyranny of the medical model and really, really do stuff, positive things for our health. And, of course, a good nutritional supplement program. That goes without saying. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls. Likewise, if you have a success story or you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Tomorrow we're going to talk to Dr. William Sears about inflammation and the link between inflammation and chronic degenerative disease. Inflammation is the body's protective response. Healing requires inflammation. This is a big problem with anti-inflammatory drugs and why they're toxic. They're among, do you know your aspirin and Motrin and Naproxen and Vioxx and uh, these supposedly benign anti-inflammatory drugs are among the most deadly of all prescription drugs, and we don't even talk about those. Even Tylenol is a leading cause of, de uh, leading cause of emergency room visits, Tylenol uh, toxicity or Tylenol overdose. Why? Because these drugs modify the body's 
inflammatory system. And when you shut down inflammation, you can cause all kinds of havoc, biochemical havoc. Inflammation is required for healing. Inflammation is not a bad thing. You know, we, we think inflammation is the enemy. You see commercials for this. Damaging inflammation. There's a, there's a drug for Crohn's disease, an awful drug for Crohn's disease, a biologic drug that targets the immune system. And they talk about, we now know the cause of Crohn's disease. And then the lady says, it's damaging inflammation. No, it's not damaging inflammation. Inflammation is your friend. The inflammation is protecting you from the crappy foods we're eating. Here's a good one. Antibiotic overuse may be why so many people have allergies. If you're dealing with allergies, if you're dealing with uh, pollen allergies or seasonal allergies, please understand that that's a digestive condition too. Why? Because the good bacteria in the gut are our immune system's best friends. Now scientists are telling us that antibiotics can lead to allergies. Why? Because it kills off the good bacteria in the gut. If you want one single nutritional supplement to take for all health challenges, a case could be made that it's a good probiotic supplement. Supporting the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that live in the gut, with the Biolumin Nightly Essence, with the Jordan Rubin products. It's one of the cool things about Longevity is they've got, they've got the real deal, folks. They've got, they cut right to the chase. When it comes to reversing chronic degenerative disease or, or living a long life, or eliminating chronic degenerative disease, or not even getting chronic degenerative disease. Longevity's got the goods. The Biolumin Nightly Essence is a spectacular, spectacular probiotic product, not only because of its good bacteria, but because of its digestive enzymes. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I've got lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Let's go to Michael in New York. What's up, Michael? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, hi Dr. Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Sure, what's um, going on? Uh, well, I, I have uh, inflammation, and in, actually, in the top of my foot, it, it almost seems like you would, you know, it got banged or something fell on it, and there's swelling and a little uh, bruising, and it's tender. Um, but I can't really pinpoint a, a thing that I did, you know, physically to it. Perfect. Uh, but I've noticed that this might be something that's older. Uh, I've seen this sort of same similar thing in, in my calf. About a you, year ago. This is all good stuff, Michael. Yeah, Let me muscle. tell you why. Let me tell you why. You know how I was, t I don't know if you heard me at the beginning of the program, I was saying how your cholesterol is not your problem. It's a sign of the problem. Likewise okay. with inflammatory pain, pain on the top of the foot, if it's not a stress fracture or something that you did traumatically, that's not the problem. That's a sign of the problem. So inflammation mm -hmm. always means defense. That's the, you want to think of those two words as synonyms, at least when it comes gotcha. to the reversal. Inflammation means defense. Inflammation is how the immune system shows up. The defensive system shows up as inflammation. Technically speaking, what happens when we're inflamed is the body is creating a beaver's dam around an area to keep it sequestered so it doesn't interfere with, so it doesn't interfere with the good stuff, the good tissue that's nearby, and so it, it's allowed a quiet place to do its healing. It's like building a room, if you will, around a damaged area. So the question now has to be, why does your body think it's damaged? What's going on? Now, you said you didn't traumatize it. It's not, I'm assuming it's nothing to do with your type of shoes you're wearing, anything like that. So the question then becomes, what's getting in there that, that the body perceives to be an enemy, that the body thinks it needs to protect itself from? Does that make sense so far? Yeah. What's getting in the system? And when I say getting in the system or getting in the body, I mean getting in the blood. The blood is the sacred space. The blood, when we talk about stuff getting into the body or stuff getting into the, into the system, as I say sometimes on this program, it means the blood. So when you have inflammation that's showing up spontaneously for no, no apparent reason, like you didn't traumatize it, you always have a blood issue. If you want to cut to the chase on all health problems, all health challenges, including your inflammation, Michael, two words, dirty blood. Now, doctors will call it sepsis, and they'll say, oh, my God, it's a horrible thing, sepsis. You, you, you go to the uh, inter intensive care, and, you know, you're going to die. And they're right. Sepsis is, if you get bacteria in the blood, you're, or lots of bacteria in the blood, or your blood is toxed out because the blood circulates throughout the body and contacts every single system and every cell in the body. That's a big issue, and you could die from it. But what they don't recognize is there's dirty blood that is subclinical. That means it's not bad enough to go to the doctor. 
So inflammation is always dirty blood, whether it's the inflammation associated with arthritis, whether it's spontaneous inflammation that you don't know what happened, whether it's the inflammation associated with Alzheimer's disease, whether it's the inflammation associated with any chronic degenerative disease, it's dirty blood. Then the question is, is how does the blood get dirty? Well, you're not an IV drug user, so it's not getting dirty through your skin. Unless you perhaps you were vaccinated a lot, you know, no, that can happen, uh, certainly. I've, I've shied away from hospitals and doctors for over okay, a decade. Okay, so that's not a condition. You're not getting it through your blood. Uh, you could be breathing it in, but that's unlikely. The vast majority of immune activation, of inflammatory activation, of, dirty, uh, of the causes of dirty blood is the digestive system and food. And when you think about how we eat and you think about uh, our collective digestive health crisis, our, our collective health is- digestive health issues, it makes sense. So here's what you do. You get a couple things. First of all, you could do a food diary where you write down everything you eat and then write down how you feel after and start to notice what foods cause constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, bloating, heartburn, gas, and you start to eliminate those foods. It may take you a month, but it's worth it. It'll add years to your life. Now, if you want to go all out, you know, if you're serious about super serious, you definitely want to go all out fast for a couple of days. Do a Swero V cleanse. Get yourself on Jordan Rubin's Swero V, half a bottle every hour for 12 hours or 24 hours or 36 hours or 48 hours, and then reintroduce foods. You'll notice that your inflammatory pain will subside. Inflammatory sub- okay. pain always subsides, almost always subsides, unless there's, unless there's a trauma there. Okay, I'm assuming there's no mechanical trauma. Okay, so I don't that's think the second. So, no. Okay, okay. So let's assume it's not. Look for the food issue. Get yourself on the mm-hmm. bioluminightly essence. Use the digestive enzymes. Now, ultimate enzymes do a couple things for you. Number one, they're anti-inflammatory. If you take enzymes on an empty stomach, you will access their anti-inflammatory benefits. So taking your ultimate enzymes two or three, a couple times a day on an empty stomach can help you with inflammation. And then when you take them with food, of course, they'll help you digest your food as well. Essential fats are powerfully anti-inflammatory especially the omega-3 fats. If you're getting a lot of omega-6 fats and not omega-3 fats, that can make matters worse. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. Of course, your, the Healthy Star Pack will cover all your bases if you just get on the Healthy Star Pack. But good fats are very important. And staying away from processed fats is also very important. And then using fat, uh, fat processing vitamins and nutrients, especially vitamin E, which is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory, uh, uh, anti-inflammatories of all the vitamins. In fact, after you're working out, vitamin E is an awesome supplement just to keep, uh, just to keep uh, post-workout inflammation down. I've got a couple more things for you, Michael, so don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page of brightsideben.com. And you can purchase products, of course, right off of brightsideben.com. You can also purchase products off criticalhealthnews.com. And also, uh, where are we here? And also, uh, uh, pharmacistben.com. All right, I think I lost Michael. Oh, there's Michael. All right, Michael, you, st- you there? Inflammation on the top of the foot, Michael. All right, good. So all the anti-inflammatory strategies, especially around food, and then there's great supplements you could take that are anti-inflammatory. After you work out, vitamin E is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. It can also help with the inflammation associated with arthritis. It, vitamin E protects all the fats in the body. It protects fatty acids, omega-3s, and omega-6s. So in addition to your omega-3s and omega-6s, make sure you use vitamin E. You always see vitamin E in a quality omega-3 and omega oh and omega-6 supplement because vitamin E protects fats. I use vitamin E in my skincare formulations when I want to protect fats, when I want to protect oils. So vitamin E, 400 international units a day can be helpful. Also, vitamin C is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. Vitamin C is just the primal panacea, as Thomas Levy calls it. It's good for everything. And then uh, magnesium also has anti-inflammatory benefits, and you'll get all that in the Healthy Start Pack. If you want to throw a couple more things in, get on the CM cream. You could rub that on on the top of the on the top of your foot. You can also use the CM capsules. Cetylmyristoliate is a type of fat, and it's got wonderful anti-inflammatory benefits. So lots of strategies there for you, Michael. Good luck with everything. Anything else you want to ask? Uh, no, I appreciate uh, your time. Thank you so much. Good deal. Have a great day, buddy. Thank you for your call. All right, stay in New York here. Talk to Ray. What's up, Ray? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, Ben. Uh, thank you. Um, how, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Nobody ever asks me, but that's good. I um, appreciate you asking. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So, uh, oh, by the way, I, I heard your comment about uh, just a minute ago about uh, allergies. 
And I had such severe allergies, hay fever. My eyes would water from late June all the way through October. And like I was, I mean, on my chest, you know, just dripping. And I, and I had refused to take over-the-counter medicine. But once I changed my diet. <laughs> How do you like that? It's crazy. I honestly, I 